had, um, especially over the last couple of years. But I noticed a picture um, on your Facebook wall, which was um, you haven't drunk any alcohol for the last, I think you said over a thousand days. You've even got like a running clock, haven't you? Yeah. Um, which is amazing. So talk me back through sort of like your, how you transitioned from being like going out every weekend, like you said, and just sort of like partying to the guy that we know now who's so mentally tough, drinks literally nothing but water, <laughs> won't have a soft drink, um, eats clean, wakes up early. How did you snap out of, okay, I'm gonna, I need to stop partying now and, and really like push for self-growth, self-development and really take down like the, the health um, route? How did you make that move? How did you make that transition? Well, there were a couple of signs that uh, showed me that I shouldn't do this. One was when I went to a United game and I was so drunk that uh, they kicked me off after five minutes no way. <laughs> from the game. So <laughs> I was like, okay, then uh, money well spent. <laughs> <laughs> that was not a good, a good experience. And also uh, it really started when I lost a bet uh, with an Arsenal f- uh, fan, friend of mine. So again, it's well, thanks to United. Uh, <laughs> and the bet was that uh, whoever loses is not supposed to drink alcohol for 30 days and I lost that bet so I was just you know trying this 30 days without alcohol this was back in May 2017 so a bit over than three years now and I felt so much better during these 30 days you know and Mm -hmm. I started reading about not drinking alcohol what are the positive effects the benefits that uh, I just enjoyed it you know I didn't miss alcohol at all so it's not that difficult at all if you don't miss something if you don't well I know I was addicted to alcohol to be (laughs) honest with you I really was Mm. but uh, I read a really good book uh, that changed my mindset about alcohol and what I eat so basically it's it's very easy when 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 you realize that you are not giving up on something when you're not making a a sacrifice by not drinking because it doesn't give you anything good i mean genuinely good because Mm -hmm. if it does then you wouldn't want to limit yourself to just one pint of drink or something like that you know Mm -hmm. if it was actually good then you would just drink all the time because it's good but obviously you want to limit yourself because you know it's not good and when you realize that you're not going to miss out on anything and your life is going to be even just better and you can still enjoy life because you know it life is more about i don't know the people the experiences than alcohol yeah. so so yeah i just realized that uh, it doesn't give me anything good and that was just so easy after that yeah it's it's mad how like it just started off as a bet it like literally yeah. was like okay oh, well, i bet you you can't <laughs> you can't drink for 30 days and the fact that you stuck to that bet because you could have been drinking on the sly if you wanted to do you know what i mean you didn't have to but then to go from that and realize well actually you know what i actually do feel better in myself but then not just that is not to relapse and go back to that like you you could have easily gone right 30 days are up now i can't wait to go out on a weekend and and, and sort of like get smashed again and whatever but you took that and you saw it as a positive but then you also implemented different things into your life like i said you've cut out soft drinks you wake up early so you've got a good routine you eat clean as well as you can see bro you've like from the picture from where you are right now (laughs) man you look look like well yeah i do my best yeah yeah yeah. trimmed up proper proper well man um you know at the time if you don't mind me asking you was there a reason for you drinking was it just like was it a social thing or was it just like boredom um, or was it like an escape from something or was it just a case of th- like, I've got I nothing else it, to do? I think it was all of them that you just said. And also football matches, that was always a good excuse. <laughs> yeah. um, so I always started my my weekend going to the pub before the United game, a couple of hours before. Hmm. Have at least seven or eight beers before the game and then Jeez. a couple after. Yeah. Uh, I still go to the pub before the game and I just realized that, you know, it's, well, people are just so annoying when they are all <laughs> drunk around me, except me, yeah. you know? <laughs> when, you're the, when you're the sober when, one, when, it's when, when you are the only sober person <laughs> in, in a party or, any, or in a pub, you realize that, you know, 
it doesn't look good yeah. and you don't want to be like that so <laughs> yeah it's hard to be surrounded by people that are on a different level to you in terms of like they're just obviously when you drink you get a buzz but then when you're the sober one and you're looking around going bloody hell was i like that <laughs> yeah because exactly. i never noticed <laughs> yeah <laughs> do you know what i mean but i love the fact that you still keep your tradition but obviously you still haven't gone back to like drinking and stuff like that you'll still go to the pub you still enjoy the game and you go to every game you physically can that's one thing no one will ever be able to tear you away from yeah um, that's amazing um bringing it back to business um like